Hello viewers, in this tutorial we are going to transform these still designs into a video ad. To proceed with the video creation, we need to save our scenes or different ad boards into a separate PSD files. Let's select scene 1, go to file, export, export. Add parts to files and run. We repeat the same process for scene 2 by selecting scene 2 and following the previous steps. In this section, we'll be importing our PSD files into After Effects to start animating scene 1. Let's create a new comp and rename it as main comp with the following parameters 6 seconds and 24 frames. Double click here to import the Photoshop file or our scenes so we can animate them. Double click here, select composition within layer sizes. Let's scroll down this folder. Let's double click here for scene one. So we, all, we have all the layers here in scene one. In scene one, as we saw in for our Photoshop file. So going back to uh, After Effects, there are certain there are some cleanup that we need to do. First of all, let's start with the background. Let's create a new background. We have uh, a background that was imported from Photoshop, but now let's create a new one in After Effects. So let's click on an empty area here. Click New, Solid. Let's rename it as PG for our background. Make com sense. Let's get the color here from our Photoshop file. So now we can delete this line and use the one that we just created. Let's lock it. So it's stable here. Now let's start animating the logo. Let's double click here. So we have our logo, but we don't need all this area. All you need to do is to trim it. So to do that, let's click here and just crawl our area. Now we go back to composition and click on crop com to region of control. Uh, let's click the what do you call it? We need our region of uh, our title safe action so we know where you're working out of. We are not working out of the layer. So now let's add our scale animation to the logo so all we do now is click on logo and click on s for our scale uh, let's add a keyframe here at the start let's move seven frames forward by clicking on page down on our keyboard seven times let's add another keyframe here let's go back to the initial keyframe and reduce our scale from 100 to 0. Let's move a few frames forward. So let's say 4 frames and add another keyframe so we can create an overshoot for the logo. Let me fit the area so we can see more of our logo. Now let's right select all our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistance, easy is. Let's go to our graph editor. Let's make sure that uh, our graph is it's it's it added value graph. We're using the value graph now. So let's click on the value graph. Let's extend the area a bit. So we know what we're doing. Okay. So here on the first, the second layer, let's increase it to let's say 120 for the scale. Since we want an overshoot at this point, so it scales right faster and reduces at its ends. So let's go back to our timeline. Let's preview the animation we have currently. Okay, so this is what we want. At this time, you can proceed with the circle, you can proceed with this layer, but here 
you want to create a you don't want the circle imported from photoshop you want to create another shape area let's click right let's right click and click on solid uh, and click on a shape layer let's click on this add you want a circle which is an ellipse so we click on that let's fit our comp this this is the circle we just created from our shape layer so now let's move it right to the point okay for the for this time okay it doesn't matter let's okay let's move it right on the right so that we can uh, make sure that we have the it ex it matches the size of the red circle exactly so let's move it here now let's add a shape to it let's add a, a stroke to it i mean let's increase the the size of the stroke uh, this way to bigger uh, okay we can say let's make it nine for the size of the shape or at least ten let's see uh, let's I think my snapping is giving me a problem so I'm on checking the snap so okay at least it's 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 ten is okay now let's change the color to red for the the red from the logo okay so now it's fine so now we can we can also solo guide the the imagine text but now it's not a text all you need to do is to convert it to a text by right clicking and going to create convert to text so now let's rename let's rename it to red circle let's we want it we want it so that it moves the circle moves and hits on the g over here and it bounces right to the side so let's see how we can do that let's at uh, frame seven as you can see over here let's click on let's add a keyframe for the position Let's move uh, 23 frames forward. I'm adding it over here, right here. 23 frames forward. And copy, no, and move this keyframe here. Now let's move uh, 20, let's, let's move to Let's move backwards. Let's say uh, let's say seven at frame seven. At frame seven, let's move it up to add another keyframe over here. Okay, so the ball or the circle. Let's assume the circle is a ball which will bounce. All right, so it bounces here at this point. Now let's move uh, one second, nineteen frames forward let's copy this sorry let's copy the second keyframe and paste it here okay so let's select all the keyframes okay at this moment or at this point in time uh, the ball is only moving on the y axis so you want to make sure that's our focus so let's focus on the y position so what we do now is right click here and click on separate dimensions let's click on separate dimensions uh, remove the keyframes for the x now since we don't need it at this moment so we'll click here sorry make sure that only the x position is selected click here to remove all the keyframes So it hits here. Uh, let's select all the keyframes for Y and press Ctrl so that we go back to our linear keyframes. Now let's select it again and hit on a and a right click, go to keyframe assistance and select Easy Ease. Now let's go back to our graph editor. All at this point, maintaining that we still have our value graph select selected since that's what we want to animate let's create more room over here a bit a bit of a room over here 
okay so at this time let's select the second keyframe and uh let's pull the handle a bit so that the ball move faster 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 to this point as it move to the second keyframe it slows down so let's zoom in so we see what we're doing let's zoom in by clicking this side uh, Let's create more room over here. So we see what we're doing. Make sure you want to make sure you want to make sure that the what do you call it the angle here is is the same as the angle here. So let me zoom in. This is what I mean. I'm seeing the angle over here should be rightly exactly to this as currently we don't have that so let's move it a bit okay so the angle over here let me select here again the angle over here should be exact over here okay now let's move to the third keyframe which is this point and uh, a bit over here okay now let's move out of the graph editor let's go back to our timeline let me increase this so we have it over here so the ball bounces you know when a ball bounces at the first time the energy is stronger but as it move on to the second bounce the energy reduces so we also had in a bit of physics over here the same applies in animation so now at this time let me fit the comb So at this time, uh, let's try and animate the X position too. So let's add a keyframe here at the first point. Let's add an X. Let's move to the last keyframe. And move it here. So early on in the animation, so that the ball, so the ball comes out, it hits here it bounces and moves down okay this is what we want but this time we want the ball to hit on the, or the circle i mean to hit here to hit on the g part so let's move a bit here and with the x you know what we we don't want any negative figure over here so with the y selected let's change it Let's move it down a bit over here. Let's sit down a bit over here. Close at the level to the logo here. So now let's move our X a bit to this section. Yeah. A bit to this section. So let's say the ball, ball comes out here. It see this area, it bounces again and moves down. Let's go back to our graphic editor, now our graph editor, and fix some issues. The curves are not right over here. So now, with the Y position selected, you can see that the handle moves way, 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 way out. So what we have to do now is to correct it correct it this way so that we can fix the way also the handle over here does not look right does not look right let's click here again let's click here again so we see what we're doing okay it's steeper here and here We said we want the angle to be the same. What uh, currently the angle here is not equal to the angle here. So let's see what you can do. This point takes a bit of time, so let's be patient with it. Okay. So now let's move back to our timeline. So on the Y, on the Y position, let's move it down a bit. Yeah. Over here like this okay so now let's select our x position and move it a bit close here 
so that we have the ball. Let's start again. The ball coming out here, hitting on the G, it bounces and moves here again. Let's see, let's select both, holding on out to space it a bit. Now let me undo it. Let's go back. So, okay, let's see the ball comes out. It hits here, then it moves here again. So now let's uh, edit a bit of the Y, a bit of the Y and the X too. So let's, we keep on, we should keep on refining it a bit just so that we can get what we want. When the ball hits on the G, the tagline getting a home loan was up here. So let's go back to after effect and get that working. So let's go back to the model point here. So at this point, what you need to do is you need to convert the tagline to at the moment it's not, not look like a, a text so we need to convert it to a text to edit to an edit, editable text let's do that for the same let's do that for simple okay so let's solo the getting a home loan the, the tagline so we want at this point when the circle hits, when it comes out and it hits this point. Okay, let's go back here. There's something we need to fix quickly. At this point, we don't want our circle to be seen at this point. So what we need to do is that we need to trim it a bit until it appears. So, and also we need to move it the X position. Uh, I'm saying the, uh, the Y position a bit down so that it's six right on the logo. Perfect. Okay. So now let's fit it to zoom. Let's fit it so that we see what we have. So now let's preview what we've done so far. So let's go back and review, our, and review our animation at this point. So at the point where the red circle hits the letter G, we want the tagline being revealed. So let's add an opacity to the tagline. So when it hits, it should be at an opacity of 100. Let's move the keyframe up by pressing the page up on our keyboard and add another keyframe to the opacity. Let's make the first keyframe zero. So nothing is revealed until it hits, until it hits the board, the red circle hits the wall G, we have our tagline be revealed. Okay. There's another principle that we need to also apply over here in animation. So as the ball hits the letter G and moves away from the second keyframe to the third keyframe, there should be an increase in size uh, that's the volume of expansion principle so let's do that with the scale property let's add a keyframe here let's move the third keyframe let's add another keyframe so with the scale keyframe selected let's increase the scale to about right above here Okay, let's say, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how it's, what we have finally. Okay, so it hits, let's hit those here. Okay, so let's uh, use the ease of our keyframes for the skill. At this point, we've uh, uh, 
let's at this point when the ball hits down it's going back to our going back to photoshop at the point where the ball hits there should be the word simple should revolve so let's get back to ae see where we can apply that so before we do that uh, we need to split this layer because uh, we had a lot of keyframes over here so to, to do that let's split this layer by pressing ctrl shift d here let's press u to reveal the keyframes here we don't need the keyframes here let's split it but before we do that let's try and um, on separate the dimension over here by unchecking the mark here so that we have only one position for the x and y so let's review our animation again so when the ball hits here the text simple should reverse so let's unsolar it let's unsolar it uh, so as the ball hits the word s should revolve before we do that let's try and position the s such such that the s the the s sits right in at the center of the red circle so let's do that uh, okay let's do that like this so we have something like this uh, making sure that uh, show that we have a we are maintaining what we have over here in our Photoshop file. Let's go back to A. Yeah, not that bad. Not that bad. Let's review. Let's go back to our Photoshop file to let's zoom in. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, let's go back to AE. But what we can do is let's uh, let's see if we can move it a bit here, a bit here, and rather this circle we position it a bit here, yeah, so that we can maintain what we have in our Photoshop file. Oh, okay so yeah. so at this point let's add a max to reveal uh, a rectangular max that will reveal the word s let's add a rectangular max to simple Let's add the rectangular max here. Let's have our selection tool selected by pressing and holding down on S. Okay, so at this point, the S should be showing. What you need to do is you also need to trim the this part of the S. Let's fit the comp so we can see what we've done so far. Let's move across the timeline that ball it's the way the letter G the ball settles down then s is revealed okay so at this time we can uh, add keyframes to our max path let's add a keyframe to our max path over here so let's move i think the 10 keyframes forward let's see 10 keyframes forward and uh let's reveal the other letters does it i and m sorry let's have only this point selected as we do that zoom in a bit okay So let's see what we have. So at this time, to let's add a, a scale so that the red circle also will increase. Let's add a scale over here to the red circle. Let's add a keyframe here. 
first let's add another keyframe here so on the second keyframe we should the red circle should increase so that it covers the words s and m we have partly of our p showing over here let's try and rectify that by pressing this and selecting and double clicking let's double click this side go back let's select this two points and move it set that only the s and m are removed okay let's get back to our scale let's increase the scale of the circle set that it covers the s and m uh, the, the word s i m so what we need to do is to also add a keyframe here add the keyframe for the position and move the circle said that it covers the words I, I am same so let's try and increase it a bit a bit a bit but before we do that let's undo what we've done so far let's undo okay so at this point let's move the keyframe here and rather add a position here let's move forward and and also increase the the scale of, of the circle now we can move the position so at this point Let's increase the scale again for the S. Let's increase the scale again for the S. Let's move the position a bit. Sorry, let's move the X position a bit. Yeah. Okay. That's a bit. Okay. So at this point, let's see what we have so far. Let's let's fit the comb to size. Let's move it down. It shows. Let's move this keyframe here so that they all start at the same point. Now let's see. Let's preview it. So the, as the ball hits, the first the S is revolved, then it moves on to reward the seam. Let's add another keyframe. Let's add another keyframe to over here to revolve the forward of the simple. Let's by moving the max to refill the full text so let's increase the scale so that all the words are revolved now let's work on the position that's the x position for the circle let's move it a bit at this point let's continue to increase the scale so that the full words are revolved. Okay. So let's see what we have currently. The ball hits. Then it continues to increase in size to revolve. So the ball hits and it continues to increase the size of the and it continues to reveal the words simple nice okay. now what you have to do now is to what is it is the keyframes by right clicking keyframe assistance is it is let's do that for the text simple is it is okay so we have a nice animation coming together over here
So as the ball hits, then it con continues to revolve. Nice. At this point in time, let's preview our animation once again. Okay, so everything is perfect now. So now we can introduce a camera to our scene. But before we do that, let's select all the layers with the exception of the background and change it to a 3D layer. Let's also press the motion blur. Let's add the motion blur to it and make sure that it's enabled right here on top. Okay. Uh, let's enter into the logo comp and make sure that we've enabled the 3D here too so that you don't have any surprises at the end. Okay. So everything seems to be working fine. Let's preview it once again. Okay, so we have our motion blur being shown. Okay, so let's now introduce our camera by, by pressing sh Shift Control Alt C on our keyboard We're using a two node camera. So let's throw the camera down. Let's hit on the transform property. Let's move our, our timeline right to the point that everything is being revealed. So at, let's say at a, at a three keyframes, uh, at three seconds, I mean, but before we move forward, let's arrange our layers according to the design we have in Photoshop because, because in, uh, in our design, we have the red circle behind all the test. So let's do that also here in the animation. Let's make sure that let's hit the tilde key and let's make sure that the red circle falls behind everything aside the logo so let's 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 hit the soda key again to see the arrangement again so this is what we should have just like we have in our photoshop file okay so at three seconds let's let's create frame all the transform for the camera from the point of interest right to the z rotation let's move 10 frames forward by pressing shift page down now let's activate the camera 2 by pressing C. So what we want at this moment is that we want our point of interest to focus on the word simple. So let's right click and zoom in to simple. But we want simple should be zooming at the right cent at the center at least. So now let's click on the middle button. Drag it to the left. Now let's drag it up a bit. Now let's zoom in by pressing the middle button on the key on the mouse. By pressing on the right button on the mouse. Let's zoom in right so that it zooms right into the background let's continue to zoom in you can hold uh, shift you can hold it and press on the shift key while doing that so that it moves faster now let's preview our animation for our first scene click onto the comp and hit the tilde key so we can preview it at a full scale. Let's zoom in. Let's fit it up 100%. Now let's preview it to see what we have finally. What a nice scene for the scene one animation. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you learned one or two tricks from this tutorial. 
and join us in our next session for the next scene. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Bye.